Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll try to understand the basics of VLLM, how to install VLLM and then how to run a basic uh, language model using VLLM and then we'll do the inference using VLLM and then try to serve it using fast API. So uh, VLLM is nothing but it is an easy to use library okay, which will help you to do LLM inferencing and serving quite quickly similar to hugging face okay so let's get started with the uh, the video right first thing is to what create a virtual environment what i'll do is i'll use ruby which is a python package manager and then i'll create a virtual environment using vnv and then i'll install vllm so uh, the overall right the vllm uh, what it will do right when you're installing vllm it will look for either you have gpu or not okay so based on that it will get installed okay so since i have a gpu okay while installing it will look for that uh, cuda and if it is there and it will uh, include certain set of packages like cuda dependencies okay so that is one of the point that you have to remember while installing vllm otherwise uh, if you don't have cuda then there is a separate process for installing vllm so what i'll do right first uh, since it will take a lot of time i have created my virtual environment and i'll activate that source and my vllm uh, environment bin and activate okay so this is done and i'll try to install it okay since i have installed it already let's see what happens so using 3.129 okay i use the same command okay 3.12 so it installed python 3.12 and then uh, it installed the VLLM. So that is that. So this is a very simple uh, way to set up VLLM in your local machine. So I am using Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, okay, and it is a Linux machine. So you can do the same with based on your uh, OS, right? You will have some separate step for that, but it is quite simple. Okay, so let's look at the basic script first. So what we do in this script right uh, first if i just look at the first statement which is importing from vllm the llm class okay where i will be passing my model and then there is something called as a sampling params sampling params is nothing but it is a module which is similar to the open ai uh, api's uh, setup right it is similar to that which is copied by vllm okay it follows the same standard which is followed by open ai and in the next step, what we do is we have a list of prompts. Okay. And then I set up the sampling parameters. So here I have temperature 0 0.8 and top P is equal to 0 0.95. So let's understand these two parameters for now. Okay. So if I go back here, inference parameters, this is the sampling parameters. So there are two parameters which I talked about, which is temperature and top P. So temperature refers to the randomness of the sampling. So when I say randomness of the sampling, when you're trying to generate the text, okay, so how randomly the generated text should be, okay. So if the value is less, okay, the temperature is less, okay, then it means it is like uh, the, for example, if you give a specific input during the training phase for a with a specific label, it will try to generate that uh, deterministic value, okay, when the temperature is less. But when it is high, when the temperature is high, uh, the model gets creative and it tries to be like more random when generating the text. Okay, that is the point of temperature. And top P refers to the controls the cumulative probability of the top tokens to consider. So in this case, okay, if you see we have top P of 0 0.95. Unless we, the total probability of the tokens rate reaches 0 0.95, we'll include all those tokens for our uh, what next step, right? Or uh, when you're trying to predict the next token. So it should have uh, what the top P with the probability of 0 0.95. So that is sampling parameters. Now there is a LLM where we initialize with the model name Facebook opt uh, 125 million parameter. So these are the two uh, key uh, parameters or variables. Okay, we declare. And then once these two are done, we do something called as LLM.generate, pass in the prompt along with the sampling parameters and then we'll be getting our output okay so here we'll be iterating through our outputs we'll first look into the prompt that we sent and the output that we got and that will be printing it here okay so let me run this 
the interesting part about uh, vllm right when i uh, worked with hugging face we don't see how the parameters are being uh, captured what is the how the gpu is utilized okay all those things are missing okay so uh, let me show you what exactly i mean by that so if i just do python basic okay so it will try to uh, load this model which is facebook op 125 so if you see here it will automatically detect the platform cuda okay next let's wait so here the this model support multiple tasks so mopped model right this specific model it can classify it can generate the embedding it can generate text it can give reward and score so by default it will generate okay so the interesting part about it right the vllm okay it sees all these different back end right okay what i mean by that so if you see here cannot use flash attention to back end for volta and turing gpus so my gpu right it is on different architecture of nvidia so flash attention to requires uh, volta or turing gpus so what i am using is uh, i am using xformers backend for what loading the model and they just load the model using this is the start of loading model and it is model weight of this is a format okay pytorch format and you will be loading the model it is getting completed here and the total model weights right it is 200 mb 230 mb so it is showing it is here 0.2389 gb and it is checking the memory profiling it is doing it takes around 0.4 seconds and if you see here i have a gpu which is 8 gb and the current vllm instance right total gpu memory available is 7.78 gpu memory utilization is 0.9 which is 7 gb the model weight takes 0.24 gb and non torch memory takes 0.03 gb and pytorch activation when you are doing the inference it will be like uh, 0.047 0.47 uh, gb and the rest of the memory okay so i have since 8 gb right uh, okay it is utilizing the model weight is taking some non torch memory is taking some memory and pytorch activation takes some memory but rest of the memory right which is around 6.26 gb it is used for kv caching okay so this is uh, specifically used for llm optimization okay kv caching so it is available around 6.26 gb is available for that so i have cuda blocks of 11404 and cpu blocks of 7000 7281 and maximum concurrency right i can have 2048 tokens per request and here if you see capturing cuda graph for decoding this may lead to unexpected consequences so these are like uh, some warnings kind of thing that you can skip for a moment so uh, at the end what we see right we see our processed prompts it generates the text so this is my prompt okay hello my name is okay and it is giving joel i am a homemaker i drink a tea a lot and so this is the generated text next the father next prompt the president of the united states is giving his blessings to a new master for food manufacturing technology so these are the four results for uh, the all the prompts that we gave okay so very nice part of vllm right this ability to what generate these information that is very important okay what will happen right because vllm also provides something called as many optimization techniques like uh, quantization lower adapters okay speculative decoding so all these are like very uh, interesting concepts which you can utilize for optimizing your inference okay so what we have done now is we can download the model we have done the inference now what i'll do is i'll just go and serve this model so what i'll do uh, i'll just go llm i guess v llm and serve i'll just take the model name okay so let me copy it so this is the model name let us run so what will happen right when you do this specific step okay it will create a fast api in the back end and run it on a specific port so you will be seeing all those information here so api server version 0.73 and the engine process so it is loading all the model again and all those th things are going through okay and it will show at the end uh, where it is getting loaded 
so it will be on local host somewhere um, some on some port so it is taking capturing the CUDA graph shapes uh, 25 30 40 35 yeah so yeah so it has loaded uh, everything okay and it is running on port 8000 okay sorry so by mistake I have closed it down okay let me load it again so what I'll do right I'll just go here uh, localhost 8000 so let it uh, load first so it's taking some time yep so these are like what very interesting part the model weights capturing the CUDA graph and uh, so if you see here also right capturing CUDA graph for decoding this may lead to unexpected consequences if the model is not static to run the model in eager mode okay so yeah uh, it has started the API server at uh, 8000 okay but if you see it is not running okay it is giving this detail not found so what you have to do is since it is fast API I have to give docs so you will see uh, all the APIs that is available here so first thing I wanted to test out is this one okay tokenization what I do I take it from my code okay I take this copy this model and paste it here and I'll pass this is Mayur okay yes learning okay this is my uh, input and this is my model let's execute this one okay so it has generated the tokens okay for the specific input that we passed okay this is the response now what I'll do is I'll copy this again <laughs> Such that I am quite lazy right now. Okay, so I'll copy this. I'll put it to here completion. Write out. So let me. What I'll do? I'll take this and paste it here. Okay, my well, let me reset it. So model is equal to string here. I have to pass this one. Oh, let me take it from here again. Copy. And I'll write this again. This is my own and he is learning. Okay, this is my input. Okay, let me skip these parts. Okay, these are like different parameters that you can set. So I'll just keep it simple for now. Okay, let us execute this one. So it is giving some uh, JSON invalidation error. So let us understand what it is. Okay, this is there. This is there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Can we reset this one again? Okay. So let me do this. This is my your and and he is learning. So if I just pass this, I think there will be an error because there are various parameters that are set. But let us try it out. Okay, let me take this one also. Facebook slash opt 125m. Not apt, it's opt. Okay. So this will also throw an error. Okay, it's a it's a string that I have to pass. Let us see. Yeah, so this is fine. Okay, let me just remove this for now. All these are the parameters which are not required. Now let us execute. Yeah, so if you see here, <laughs> so what it has done is I have given an input. This is Mayur and he is learning and it has generated some uh, response which is which doesn't even make sense actually. Okay. Anyway, this is not about what getting the right response. It is all about we are able to serve the model quite easily with fast API and VLLM. Okay, so that's how uh, that's all with VLLM and for now, this is the basics of VLLM. Okay, and I'll conclude this video for now. Thank you for watching.